Thanksgiving is for giving thanks. Thanksgiving is the day of the year that we eat lots of turkey and pumpkin pie. But most of all, it's the day when we give thanks for all the things that make us feel happy. I am thankful for my dad and mom. They love me when I'm good. And even when I'm not so good. I am thankful for everyone else in my family. My grandma gives really good hugs. I am thankful for my teacher. She makes me feel special when she hangs my artwork on the wall. I am thankful for my friends who make me laugh. I am thankful for my room. Sometimes it's nice to be by myself. I am thankful for hot chocolate on a cold rainy day. I am thankful for all the dogs and cats that I know. It's fun when they let me pet them. I am thankful for my favorite books. I like bedtime when mom or dad read to me. I am thankful for bright sunny days when I can play outside with my friends. I am thankful for lollipops that turn my tongue purple, or green, or orange, or red, or blue. I am thankful for special days like Thanksgiving, when I'm with my family and we can all be thankful together. Let's be thankful. Long ago, the first Thanksgiving dinner was prepared by neighbors giving thanks to God for blessings they had shared. Like mom and dad who love me and who always understand, my older brother, who is there to lend a helping hand. My friends, who help me get back up when my plans don't succeed. And friends, who give a gentle push when that is all I need. I'm thankful for my teachers too, who help to stretch my mind. And open up new worlds to me with books of every kind. I'm thankful for the time I have to play games with my team and thankful for the time I have alone to think and dream. And music, I'm so thankful for the songs that we can sing and the music that surrounds us made by every little thing. I'm thankful for this world which God has given to us all, for the endless wonders in it, every creature great and small. The creatures living in the forests, jungles, fields and seas, and animals who live with us and join our families. I'm thankful for the gentle breeze that rustles through my hair and soft cool showers that feed the flowers which pop up everywhere. I'm thankful for the vegetables and fruits that nature brings with which we make Thanksgiving pies and other tasty things. Thanksgiving lets us praise what God has given me and you and joins us all in peace and love. I'm thankful for that too. I never say I'm thankful, but I am. I am thankful for my family at Thanksgiving time and other holiday times, but most of the time no one talks about it. Even though I feel thankful, I hardly ever say it out loud. I feel it when mom helps me. Maybe she feels it when I help her. 
I feel it when dad fixes my bike. Maybe he feels it when I help him paint the fence. My granddad helps me make things. I think he knows how thankful I feel. My grandma listens when I'm full of things to tell her. When I'm sad, she understands. I never say I'm thankful for my brother, but I am. Of course I'm not thankful when we fight or when he teases me and calls me names. But once he fixed my wagon, he even helped me paint it. I never say I'm thankful for my friends, but I am. I am lonely when a friend moves away. I never say I'm thankful for my dog, even though he's my best pal. I never say I'm thankful for crickets and frogs, but I let them go so they can find their way home. I never say I'm thankful for the beach, or the waves, or the mountains of sand, or the seagulls racing the wind, or a pinchy crab hiding under a shell. No, I hardly ever say I'm thankful, but I am. Giving thanks. Laughing Moon got his name because of the way his mouth always curved into a big smile. But Laughing Moon was not smiling today. He sulked outside his teepee, listening to the loud cries coming from inside. Then he heard his mother soft singing, and the crying stopped. Laughing Moon's new baby sister gave him nothing to smile about. What's the matter, Laughing Moon? asked Chief Dark River. Laughing Moon jumped to his feet. The chief walked so softly, no one could ever hear him coming. He heard and saw things that many other people missed. He put his hands on Laughing Moon's shoulders. Your sister cries often, and your mother and father must spend a lot of time with her, he said. But someday you will be thankful for her. Not one of the animals of the woods is as fortunate as you are. Laughing Moon sighed. My parents are going to name her today. Her name should be Tears Like Rain. Chief Dark River laughed. Perhaps you will think of something better. As Chief Dark River left him, Laughing Moon heard another wail from inside the teepee. He dashed into the woods to get away from the noise. At a little stream, Laughing Moon saw a slippery brown otter grinning at him. What are you so happy about? Laughing Moon asked. The otter flipped over. I'm so lucky, she said. I have all this cold, clean water to play in. Laughing Moon splashed in beside her. I have water too, he said. I can swim and drink and wash with it. In a few minutes, Laughing Moon climbed onto the grass and shook himself off. There he saw a deer, nibbling on some berries. You look happy, Laughing Moon said. The deer replied, I am. There is so much good food to eat here. I am a lucky deer. Laughing Moon popped some ripe blueberries in his mouth. My family has corn and bread and berries, enough to last us all winter. Then you must be happy too, the deer said, as he trotted away. As Laughing Moon rested on the banks of the stream, the sun dried his hair and clothes. Suddenly, a big shadow passed over him, and Laughing Moon sat up shivering. A huge brown bear was blocking the sunshine. Excuse me, the bear said. 
I just wanted to enjoy the sun a little longer before I go to sleep for the winter. Laughing Moon listened as the bear described her cozy cave lined with soft leaves. Laughing Moon thought about his family's teepee, his warm blanket, and the soft glow of the campfire. I have a nice home too, he told the bear. Then you are quite lucky, the bear said with a yawn. She stretched and headed for her cave. See you in the spring. A rustle in the grass made Laughing Moon turn around. He found himself looking right into the shining eyes of a little brown bunny. Hello, said the bunny, his tiny nose twitching. Then Laughing Moon heard a dozen tiny voices echo. Hello, hello, hello. Those are my children, the bunny explained. Laughing Moon tried to count them, but they were all hopping and wriggling and bouncing around. There are so many, Laughing Moon cried. The bunny smiled. Even when our home is crowded and noisy, even when there is not enough food, each new bunny that comes to our home is like a new star smiling in the heavens, making the darkness a little bit brighter. I am the most fortunate animal of all. Suddenly, Laughing Moon jumped up. No, he said, I am the most fortunate. I have clean water and good food and a warm home. I have a family too, with a new baby sister. The bunny sat up and twitched his nose again. Then what are you doing here, sulking by the river? He asked curiously. Laughing Moon's mouth dropped open in surprise. Without another word, he disappeared into the woods and raced back to his family's teepee. Throwing open the flap, he bounded into the teepee and gently lifted his tiny sister from her bed. He turned to his parents and his mouth curved into a big smile. I have thought of a name for my sister, he announced. Let's name her Smiling Star.